This is the Scandinavian Peninsula, located right next to the Arctic Ocean. The peninsula is made up of the countries of Sweden, Finland, and Norway, covering a total land area of around 750,000 square kilometers. These countries have a combined population of about 21 million people, which is comparable to the population of the U.S. state, Florida. Known for their beautiful scenery in the form of mountains, lakes, and forests, and their icy cold temperatures, these countries rank amongst the top of the United Nations Human Development Index. Glancing at the map, it looks like all three countries would have a coastline touching the Arctic Ocean to the north. But if one takes a closer look at the map, one would notice that Sweden and Finland do not actually have any land that meets the Arctic Ocean. This is because the country of Norway cleverly loops around them and stops any connection they would have to the coast. Now what could be the reason for these odd borders, and why have they developed the way they have? Well, let's get into it! Sweden, Norway, and Finland are the three countries on the Scandinavian Peninsula in Northern Europe. While the countries do have their own unique features, they all share strong ties in terms of history, culture, and language. Sweden is a country rich in scenic beauty. It has thousands of coastal islands and inland lakes, as well as huge boreal forests and glacial mountains. Its principal cities, eastern capital Stockholm and southwestern Gothenburg and Malmö, are all located along the coast of the Bay of Bohemia. It has a population of just over 10 million people, most of which speak Swedish, its official language. Finland borders Sweden, Norway, and Russia. Helsinki, its capital, occupies a peninsula as well as the surrounding islands in the Baltic Sea. The northern lights can be seen from the country's Arctic Lapland province, which is a vast wilderness with national parks and ski resorts popular tourist attractions drawing in people from around the world. It has a population of about 5.5 million people. Its official languages are Finnish and Swedish, showing its linguistic similarities to its neighbor. As you can see, the major cities in these countries, including the capitals of both, are coastal cities, indicating that these countries do make use of the oceans and the resources it provides. So why do these countries not have any ports on the Arctic Ocean? Well, the answer is... Norway. Norway is a Scandinavian country that has beautiful mountains, glaciers, and deep coastal fjords, and is also known for fishing, hiking, and skiing. But how did Norway manage to get the entire coastline of Northern Europe that meets the Arctic Ocean? Well, the answer to that is rooted in history. Looking way past the modern era, in the early 1200s, before countries had taken form in the manner we know of them today, there were multiple kingdoms ruling over these areas. The Kingdom of Sweden at the time extended to the mouth of the Bay of Bohemia, but did not extend further north. The Kingdom of Norway, on the other hand, was home to the Norsemen, a seafaring people who sailed the oceans looking for new lands to conquer and raid. Their country was described as very long and very narrow. The kingdom, even then in the ancient times, stretched across the entire northern coastline of northern Europe. Thus, historically, Norwegian heritage and history is rooted in the country's seafaring past and its usage of its long coastline. Moving forward in time a few centuries, the landscape of the region has changed again. While the coast of what is now known as Finnmark country of northern Norway contained pockets of Norwegian settlements, the region was overall very sparsely populated, and the people who lived here were mostly Samis, who were not considered citizens of any country and paid taxes to Norway, Sweden, and Russia. For a long time, there simply wasn't any actual border to speak of. Norway stopped on the coast of what is now Tromsø, and Sweden, which at the time included Finland as well, ended by the coast of the Gulf of Bohemia. The whole region in between simply was not considered part of either nation until the modern era. Then came Christian IV, the ruler of Denmark-Norway, which was a combined kingdom in the late 1500s. It was he who felt the coast of Finnmark was an integral piece of land to take over, and he organized a large fleet to take over the area and led it himself. He sailed past the north, chased the corsairs and pirates away, and claimed these lands for Norway. Today's historians believe that if he had not taken this action, it is likely that Sweden would have been the nation that pushed northwards, which would have greatly changed the way the borders appear today. However, Christian's decisive actions meant that Norway claimed that land as their own, 
and a century later, in 1751, the borders between Norway and Sweden were agreed on for good. This pretty much explains why Sweden doesn't open up into the Arctic Ocean. But what about Finland? Well, during most of history, the area that is considered Finland today actually came under Sweden. The eastern portion of the medieval and early modern Swedish kingdom is what would be known as Finland today. However, at no point during their joint history did Sweden-Finland have any actual dominion over any coastal area of the Arctic Sea. The area closest to Swedish-Finnish territory was disputed by Norway and Russia, and no formal border between the two powers was agreed on until 1825. In fact, in 1808, Russia captured and took over the region of Finland from Sweden. The Emperor of Russia made Finland a Grand Duchy. It remained a part of Russia until the time of the Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, at which point it declared its independence as a country of its own. When it became independent, Finland actually had a tiny portion of the Arctic coastline within the country in the form of the Petsamo province and the port of Linakamari. During World War II, Finland actually fought against the Soviet Union to defend this region, as it was the only export route for Finland and Sweden not controlled by Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union. However, after the war, Finland gave up the area of the former Petsamo province to the Soviet Union and thereby lost its connection to the Arctic Ocean. After this, Sweden and Finland never regained their connection to the Arctic coastline and until today remain locked off from it by the countries of Norway and Russia. However, the northern region of Norway that was once undisputed land inhabited by the Samis is now a multicultural region. Borders may be fixed, but this area continues to be a melting pot of different people heavily influenced by its past. Various Sami peoples, as well as Kvins and Finnish, Russians and Norwegians, all live side by side with immigrants and visitors from all over the world. But what of the future? Do Sweden or Finland have any hopes of perhaps joining back to the Arctic coastline one day? Well, Finland certainly has some plans that could change the power dynamics of the region in a big way. Presently, Finnish cargo is mainly transported to and from the ports of the Baltic Sea. Before the war on Ukraine, Finnish trains ran to the east all the way to China through Russia. Access to the Arctic Ocean is limited to the narrow roads through Norway which are not qualified for the Trans-European Transport Network, which are the major transport corridors in Europe. To create new avenues for transport, and in the hope of gaining access to the potential flow of goods along the northern sea route, the Finnish and Norwegian governments announced plans in 2018 to move ahead with building a railway that would connect Finland with Norway and Russia and their deep water ports on the Arctic coastline. However, the declaration of war by Russia on Ukraine has greatly slowed down these plans as Russia and China were meant to be major funders of this project and now it remains to be seen whether these plans will ever be completed. And there you have it folks, the reason for Finland and Sweden being completely cut off from the Arctic Ocean. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more great content just like this. Thanks for watching.